since 1984, I've been creating television programming, educational videos, and social media promoting sport fishing. I intended to share the experiences and joy one feels when fishing. The end game was, I believe, that to protect sport fishing, one should promote sport fishing. That belief comes into question as we see our waterways being polluted, species being destroyed, and governmental bad decisions. So today, I present my fishing diary to show how it was and what we are losing. My dragonfly caught right over there. Fish! I'm gonna release it. <laughs> we. Looks like his wings are damaged. Dad and the boys have enjoyed many a special day fishing for salmon in their home waters off Sioux, British Columbia, on the family boat. And as usual, these boys are very competitive. You're doing good, man. You're gonna get him here in a sec. Go, go, go. Come on, you're almost there, Cam. You're almost there. <laughs> okay, you gotta back up. Slowly back up. Oh, you're not ready yet. Hey, real. Come on, Cam. I don't wanna back up. We're gonna get him in again. Back up, back up. Go. Good job, Cameron! Woohoo! Woo nice job! Oh my Look god! Look at that! Congratulations, boys! You guys landed a West Coast doubleheader there! Yeah! Nice work! This is the biggest. How's, how's your arm feeling, Cameron? Mm -hmm. You look really tired. How, how much do you think that was? Ah, uh, that was. 25? 26, maybe. It's a beautiful fish. You guys did an excellent job landing a double header is pretty exciting. And little little bit of chaos there, but we did good. Yeah. 
You guys landed them both? Oh, wow. This bait is mushy. Okay, I'm ready. So down it goes. I'm ready. See who catches the first fish. Well, of course it's going to be you because you're down there first. Pooch hit fast, and when he gives you a nibble, you only have a second to set your hook or else he'll steal your bait. And even before you can say, fish on! Oh, so, uh, got another one on. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, another nice oh, size one. Oh, yeah. Oh, whew, that was put up. Oh, yeah, got one. Oh. I, th I think I'm too quick on the hook. Okay, so uh, let's just get the hooks out of this one you can. Yeah, and hopefully I get the next one. <laughs> yeah. This is smaller size one. Okay, Cam, let's release this fish. What a beautiful release. And that is great pitch fishing. My little safety vest out there. Doing quite good. Oh, and is it good to jiggy your rod up and down? No, that was a scam. Oh, I had a hit. Got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. It stripped the hook again. Dylan, what size hook are you using? Oh, just small. That's a beauty. So that fish, he took out a lot of line. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's bigger than the other one. You folks, Dylan, can you help me put the bait on? Because all mine's falling off. Look at that. Look at that fish. Okay, so let's just take the hooks out. Got them out. Whoa, do you want to... Wow, he's slippery. Nice fish. That was a female. You can tell the males are much brighter than that fish. <sighs> Boy, this is a workout. These things are big, eh, Dylan? Kyle, what is up with you? Usually you're outnumbering me with fish. I know. What's happening? I think it's the bait. <laughs> or too big of a hook. What size hook are you using? Oh yeah, that's too big of a hook. Look at the size of a hook I'm using. You might want to get a new hook. Get the small ones, Cam. I'll try this for a while. Remember I had that one on and he got them all the way up? Okay. Whatever you say, Captain. Got one. He's got one. Yeah. He's double header. He's coming too too fast. Yeah. My first fish! Whoa! Cameron, look at this! Let's that one was small for taking out that much fun. I thought we had a monster. Like what I was talking about. Look at how tiny those mouths are. Yeah, they're small. like... No, Cameron, let's measure these fish. See which one is bigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm, mine's a little bigger. Yeah. It's just a tail bigger. Beauty. Okay, Cameron, let's grab a fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that one's vibrating. So, Cameron, let's put him in the water. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, let's let him go. Oh, that was awesome, hey that Dylan? Was beauty, hey? That was like triple header. Yeah, triple double. That was not triple, do you See, math, I told man? you you gotta wait. So you always wanna make sure you load your thing up with bait so you can get the big perch. Got one. How how deep are you fishing? Straight oh, on just bottom? right on bottom. Oh yeah, oh baby. <sighs> Letting this dock, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, I yeah. hope he doesn't get caught up in my Oh, he jumped. Look at that. What? Oh, that was action. Oh, got one. Oh, that guy was just a little dude. Oh, okay. Get him in. And he stripped the hook again. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that, Cam. Look at these guys have been eating well. Ow. Whoopsie daisy. Get these hooks out. Oh, man. Whoopsie spiking me. In order to defend themselves, perch have spikes that run along their back, and when they feel threatened, they lift up. So watch out, because they can get you if you're not paying attention. And instead of reviving them, you can also do this. You can kind of shoot them in, 
and it shoots water through their gills really fast. And instead of reviving them and holding them and taking off all the slime they need to swim, it kind of, it's kind of helpful for the Whoa, fish. that's hard. But if they're really out of tune and out of breath, then you might want to revive them. Oh, that one's empty too. Just a little bit of paint. Got one. Yeah, let's keep that one. Oh, oh, that's a big one. Yeah, the big ones are really good eating. Yeah, he's taking out line. He's heading to the basin here, folks. Might have to chase him. With what? With the canoe? <laughs> We're still us? swimming. Summer. It's the beginning of summer. Boy. I'm not swimming in the ocean. Oh, boy. Oh. Man, one like a madman. Whoa, just like my dad says. Dylan, do you oh, want to yeah. keep this one? Oh, wow. Look at the size of this perch here, folks. Yeah, no, that's a good eating that, perch. Now, that is an eating perch, but we're not down here to eat them. We're here to keep them alive and feed them. Okay. Okay, get the hook out. Now, that. Look at that. This perch is the size of my arm. Lisa, so let's release him here, folks. Nice perch. Oh, my bait fell off. Whoa, did he ever go? Man, I had to run like a madman. I thought my arm was going to fall off there. Yeah, so I'm here down here, uh, supervised by my grandpa and a camera crew. So uh, I'm quite safe. But if you're by yourself and you're unsupervised, you might just want to wear your life jacket. Uh, your life jacket could save your life. So uh, just always remember that, folks. And especially kids. Because they could drown really easy if they bonked their head or something. Souk, British Columbia's home waters is Souk Basin. Docks in the basin are numerous and <laughs> offer the opportunity to not only it's keep your boat on the water, but so also to catch crab and to fish for perch. Whoa, whoa, that was a big hit. A species forgotten oh, yeah. by most Dylan. fishermen. <laughs> but not for Cameron and Dylan. They have this fishery dialed in. Oh, yeah. Dylan! <laughs> oh, oh, that was me! No! <laughs> totally I'm good at acting. Whoa. Dylan. St oh, yeah, yeah, go on! Hi, Lewis the fish in! I have a lot of fun teasing my brother Cameron and toying with his rod. It was really funny. Right when I went to touch his rod, boom, he hit one. Guess it's just the magic touch. Tighten oh. up your drag a little. It is tight. It's just peeling a line. Oh, yeah. This one's a biggie. Oh. Get him all the seaweed. Get him all the seaweed. Oh, yeah. Look, my rod is like in the water. That's not a biggie. That's the same size as the one I caught. It could be the same one. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. again so whoa. oh yeah woo look at that one jump oh yeah oh boy come down oh my gosh do these things ever fight like they just go for it look at that look at that fish in the water there folks oh yeah that's a beautiful fish we here. would stay down here all night until midnight hey Dylan okay so let's get the hook out of him okay Okay, beautiful fish. Let's just release them. You don't throw a fish in. Well, you have to if you want to shoot them. So I'm using a large hook and my brother is using a small. And I think the big ones work better and he thinks the small ones work better. Uh, what? Ugh. Oh, yeah. Got one. You actually hooked him there, Cameron. Whoa, look at that one go. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing almost fooled me. Oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa, this one jumped too. Make sure he calms down here. So this is a nice size perch here. So we're bring him in. He 
you don't want to grab the line, you want to grab the hook and then you go like that. And then the hook's out. Dang it, he grabbed my bait again. And then... Yeah. Whoops. And then that's a nice size perch. Whoops, hold him down lower. Dylan, don't you think this one's pretty big? Got one. Big one, Dylan? Yeah, he's got an archer's basin. Oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. This is a. Uh... Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh. Just get him in, Dylan, quickly. Let's measure these ones, too. <laughs> Dylan, what's that? I think he's just pooping, I would think. That's pretty gross. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's measure these guys, Cam. Yeah. I bet your mine's bigger. Yeah, yours. Oh, no, same size. Look at that, Cam. No, mine's a little fatter. Well, yeah, my yours a little fatter, but... Okay, let's release these guys. Just shoot them. Shoot them, Cam. Okay, shoot, shoot them. Right him. Him. Yep. My shot. Whew. There you go. Yeah, I'd like to thank you very much for watching this episode of Gary Cooper's Fishing Diary. You know, we like to bring you the episodes that happened in the past as well as in the present in order that they may be able to help you have a better fishing experience in the future. So until next week, this is Gary Cooper saying, luck is an attitude.